I decided to make some elderberry soup with semolina dumplings, a signature dish from my childhood. So the elderberries are in season now and I managed to get quite a few of them. They're looking juicy and beautiful. This recipe is actually from my grandma. Um, I don't know if it's a northern Germany thing, but when I was younger, every autumn we were invited with a whole family to her place and she used to make the soup for us and she either used fresh ones that she picked or she used juice. I think you can buy elderflower juice in health food stores and stuff like that. So. You don't need to pick it but um, yeah it's really special and she gifted me this little recipe book um, I think a couple of years ago for my birthday and uh, yeah she put all of her famous recipes in here and I just love this book and I cherish it so much
yummy. The fall colors decided to really pop now. I love the way that the light hits the house in autumn and winter. I've started to plant some tulip bulbs for next year. Let's hope the mice won't eat them. I also started digging up some of the dahlias as there is frost on the agenda next week, so I'll have to get them all out before that. I recently read the book The Well Garden Mind, and at one point the author talks about the destruction that is needed in the garden, turning waste into nutritious compost, keeping pests and weeds at bay to provide nourishment in all its various forms, and that it is almost an analogy of our mental health the significance of emotional restoration and repair throughout our life, seeing destruction not as something bad, but also as a chance for renewal, definitely not something to romanticize, but surely thought-provoking for me. That being said, I said goodbye to the bean plants, and it was time to set some garlic for next year. I would love to have my own, so let's hope that this will turn out great. Ideas. I hope you are also able to enjoy some sunny autumn days, soak up all the light until the days get super short, take a walk in the woods, listen to the crunch of the leaves under your feet. I hope this can inspire you a little bit. Take good care and I'll see you here again next week.